Hello students. Now we are going to discuss one of the experiment in advanced communication lab that is power dividers. As the name itself indicates, these are the devices which splits the power based on our requirement or the desired amount of power is splitted hence the name the power divider. Let us see the experiment name or the aim of the experiment to measure the power division and isolation characteristic of microstrip 3 dB power divider. So as I already said power divider is a passive device which is used to couple a defined amount of electromagnetic power in a desired transmission line to a desired port which is in turn connected to the required circuit. So this power divider is also called as a power splitter. What does it mean means whenever if we want to split the power based on a desired requirement there we make use of the power divider. So this is the power divider which splits the power based on the desired requirement. Here I am using the 3 dB power divider which divides the power to half of its value. So as we know the if a power is red in terms of dB if a power is reducing by 3 means in terms of watts the power is reducing to half of its value and as uh, already said it is called as the microstrip power divider here they have mentioned the microstrip 3 dB power divider why the name microstrip power divider means it operate using the microwave signals as its input source. So the as we all uh, know the microwave signals are the one which has a frequency which ranges from 300 megahertz to 300 gigahertz. So since this operate uh, these devices operate with the use of microwave signals the name it is called the microstrip power divider. Since it reduces the power to half of its value in terms of dB it is measured in uh, um, it is represented in terms of 3 dB hence the microstrip 3 dB power divider. So before starting uh, or before going with the actual experiment we will see how the power is reduced to half of its value. Assume that here in terms of uh, in while doing this experiment we are going to measure the power in terms of dB. So if a power is, is in watts we are going to convert that in terms of dB assume uh, for the example I have considered the 5 watts of power in terms of dB I am going to measure that as a 10 log of 5 watt means 5 watt I am going to convert that in terms of dB means 10 log of 5 watt I have taken so that I will obtain 6.98 dB in terms of dB it is converted. So as I said the per, if I split the power uh, this 5 watt of power into 2.5 watts and 2.5 watts. Now I am going to convert this. So 2.5 watt means in terms of dB 10 log of 2.5. Here I will obtain 10 log of 2.5. The value is 3.97 dB. So you can observe the uh, difference between these two values the prior the 5 watts um, value in terms of dB that is 6.98 and for the half splitted power 2.5 the obtained dB value is 3.97 dB. So the power is in terms of dB it is reducing by 3. So here uh, since we are going to operate the all the devices or we are going to conduct the experiment using the my, uh, very low power uh, signals. So if I take the 1 watt of power in terms of dB 10 log of 1 means it is 0 dB. If it is 0 0.5 watts, 0 0.5, 10 log of 0.5 means minus 3.0 dB. So it is again it is reducing by minus 3. The half of this 0.5 is 0 0.25 watts. 10 log of 0.25 means it is minus 6.0 dB. In terms of um, negative values if it is uh, increasing means the power is reducing means the difference is again it is 3 dB the power is reducing to half of its value this is how the power divider performs this value if we provide the input of 0.5 watts from one terminal at the as the output of the power divider we used to obtain the splitted power that is 0.25 and 0.25 watts from the other or the from the output port of the power divider. So you guys you can look at this device. This is a microstrip 3 dB power divider. We are using in this lab in order to 
perform or in order to analyze the power division operation of this divider so as an as we can see it consists of the three ports the one is port 1 and the remaining two is port 2 and port 3 here p1 is using as are used as the input port and p2 p3 are using as the output ports so whatever the power is, i am transmitting from the input port p1 is split it or it undergo the power division operation and split it and we obtain the half of the our uh, power value from a output ports that is from p2 and p3 so we can um, here internally you can see there is a transmission line in order to transmit the power from port 1 to port 2 or port 3 so you, we can use the port 2 as an output port and we can measure the power splitted um, value and either we can use the port 3 as an output port and can measure the power uh, the splitted power as an output of this power divider let us see how to measure the power division operation so as per as uh, the aim of the experiment we are going to measure the power division operation and later as I'll, I'll explain what is the isolation first we'll see how the power division operation how this power divider performs the power division operation guys you can see here in order to perform the power division operation and to measure the power division i'm going to use this microwave signal source as a one of um, in order to obtain the microwave signals so in order to transmit the power in terms of microwave signals we need a generator here we have a microwave signal source which generates the microwave signals and this is a device which generates the microwave signals between the range 2 to 3 gigahertz so here you can see here it consists of the one of a knob called tuning voltage and frequency since we are going to measure the this power in terms of frequency here we have a frequency knob we'll set this to frequency knob and we have another port that is rf output in order from this port we are going to obtain the microwave signals and there is another knob that is continuous wave mode and the modulation mode will set since we are using the vswr meter as an output device in order to measure the power in terms of db we make use of the modulated signal output if we use in terms of uh, in place of this vswr meter if we make use of the power meter as an output device we'll set this knob to continuous wave signal since we are using the vswr meter i'll set this to modulated wave fine and we have a rf level knob in order to set the rf frequency or by leveling the frequency and we have the RF frequency in order to vary the frequency of a signal. If I vary here, here the value, the frequency value keep on varies. And since I am not going to change any modulated frequency values, I will set this to the off condition. And here we have a main switch. So, first let us see the connection. How to connect this input device to? output device so between these two we have a power divider which splits the power and that is measured in a output device and here i am going to connect the attenuator as you know so whatever the signal that is microwave signal that is obtained from this microwave signal source sometimes that may consist of the higher fluctuations so that has to be attenuated in order to nullify the higher fluctuated noise which is obtained from the microwave signal source i am connected the attenuator here in order to nullify the higher fluctuations so from this i have uh, connected a sma cable which is made of the teflon material from this and i am going to connect a detector here because whatever the signal power which is obtained from the microwave signal source should be passed via this cable this act as a channel right and that signal should be detected from this point this detected signal must be measured using the vswr meter here this microwave signal source is using as an input device which if we compare this to the communication system this act as a transmitter section and this will be the receiver section so microwave signal source is an input device and the detected signal from the detector is measured with the or using the vswr meter here the detector should be connected like this the input should be at the microwave signal part and the output should be connected to the vswr meter output port should be connected to vswr meter so before measuring the power splitted operation or the power division first we should know how much power of is transmitting from 
the input source to VSWR meter at different frequency. So once we get to know the amount of power that is transmitting at various frequency from input to output later after um, connecting the power divider we will get to know at the particular frequency how much power is reducing to half of its value. Fine. So this is the initial process. Guys, you can look at the VSWR meter. So this is using as an voltage standing wave ratio in order to measure the reflections of the received signal. We are using this VSWR meter as an output device. It consists of the following knobs that is meter selector. Here there is a meter selector. I will keep this to the normal mode. And we have the range knob. This is 30, 40 in terms of negative minus dB. And we have a input selector. I will set this to 200 ohms of internal resistance crystal oscillator. Fine. Now we are going to measure the power in terms of dB. Hence here I am considering the second line with this db value the second from the below one not below one the above the below line that is which is measured in terms of db the second red line is considered for the measurement here if i set this to the 40 db means now the range is set to 40, 20 means now i'll start the count after the 20 it is 0 db this 20 and then here it is 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 and after this 26, 27 up to 10. So if a value, the needle is pointed at a 10 means this 20 plus 10, it, it will be considered as the 30, 30 dB. This is how the measurement is done. So now let us start with the experiment. So, before connecting the power divider, first we should know how much power is transmitting at different frequency. Now, initially, I will set the frequency to 2.2 gigahertz. And here, I will set the range to some 32 by varying this course knob i can set your required position once it is set for the initial frequency later it should not vary by varying this i'll set the initial power to 31 db not exactly we should take a 30 db or 27 db just for my approximation range of the uh, some average range i'll set the initial condition to 31 db so i'll measure here you can look at the tabular column for the measurement so i should take the frequent uh, power before connecting the power divider in a p1 column after connecting the power divider i should i should measure the output power from a p2 port hence this is the p2 column and if i make use of the port 3 so if P3 is using, used as an output port, then I will um, note down those the P3 outputted value in the P3 column. And I will uh, subtract these two values in order to obtain the power division operation. So here the P1 column is before connecting the power divider. Now I'm, I have set it at 2.2 gigahertz. Here I have set it that to minus 31 dB. In terms of dB and in terms of negative values, since this signal system operate using the low power, the dB uh, converted values will be in a negative. Now, I will vary the frequency knob. Always keep the RF level to minimum. Okay. To point 3 gigahertz. Now, it is showing the needle is in zeroth position. Hence, I will note down this as minus 30 dB. Now 2.4. So it is exceeding the zero value at the 30. Hence I am uh, decrease the range to 20. Now the position, needle position is in 10. Obviously 20 plus 10 means it is minus 
30 dB. This is how I am going to measure from 2.2 gigahertz to 2.8 and note down the reading value. Only at the first position or the, for the first value we should vary the core stop and note down or the set uh, the dB value for some particular point. So once that is done for the 2.2 gigahertz later we should not vary the core stop. We should not change any core knob and all. Just we should change the frequencies and note down the whatever the power that is read in a VSWR meter in the P1 column. And now I will measure from 2.2 to 2.8 gigahertz. This is how I obtained the frequency from 2.2 to 2.8 gigahertz that the VSWR meter shows the reading as minus 30 dB range. Now in order to measure the P2, this is the P1 column is an input port. Fine, P2 output. So this P2 column values is obtained after connecting the power divider. So after connecting the power divider means this input power should be reduced to half of its value and that should be obtained at a P2 column from the output port since it the power divider performs the power splitting operation. Now, this power whatever the power that is in P1 column is transmitted via this and in order to measure the P, uh, take the values from P2 column that is obtained from a P2 port. Fine. Let us see how to connect this. This is a 3 dB power divider. Now I am connecting. Should not vary in or you should not make any changes in uh, VS uh, microwave signal source on and in VSWR meter. Now I am going to connect the power divider to a micro strip signal source. Now some power so this measured power whatever the um, noted in the tabular column that is passed via this input port and it should perform the power division and operation and then that splitted power is obtained from this output port P2 or either from P2 or P3. Now I am going to connect a cable. I am using the P2 port as an output port and this power splitted value should be connected to a detector. You should note on that always the detector should be in a VSWR meter side. So after the power division you should connect a detector in order to detect, it, detect the received power from the power divider and that should be measured in a VSWR meter. Now the detector is connected here. This uh, P3 port I am going to nullify it because um, since I am using the P2 port as an output port I don't want this P3 port. What I should do I should nullify this with the, with the matched, matched load. Terminate this because any external um, effect should not happen or that should not affect this power divider from any external uh, sources or any external condition. Hence, I am going to nullify this or terminate this. Now, P1 is an input port and P2 is an output port. Now, I will measure. I am going to take the measurement from 2.2 gigahertz. So, be prior we have taken whatever the amount of power transmitted at different frequency. Now, I am setting the frequency to, by varying this frequency now, I am setting the frequency to 2.2 gigahertz. Now, I just want to measure the power in a VSWR meter. It is showing at 2.2 gigahertz, the VSWR meter is showing um this is 30 35 36.5 here since i'm using the p2 as an output port this is minus 36.5 now where is the frequency to 2.3 now the vswr meter is showing here the, the range is 30 this is 31.5 minus 31.5 at 2.4 gigahertz it is showing minus 34.5 at 2.5 gigahertz it is showing 31.32 minus 32 dB 
it is showing minus 32 Point six, it is showing how much 33 it is waiting now 33 db at 2.7 it is minus 35.0 db and at 2.8 It is showing again 32 minus 32 db. Here I obtained P2 column. Now similarly you can connect this cable to P3 port and nullify the P2 port and take down the values in the P3 column without varying anything. Again you should um, vary the frequency to 2.2 gigahertz and you should obtain the value at P3 port and note down the p3 column values now if i subtract the power which is obtained at p2 port with the input port p1 port i should take obtain the difference of minus 3 db so if it is minus 3 db in terms of watts we can um, justify that or we can say that the power is reducing to half of its value now exactly we may not obtain the 3 db if it is plus or minus 3 db also we can consider that as a half db because these are not idle devices and um, well again uh, one thing i supposed to tell you this power divider is designed to operate at 2.5 gigahertz means it should perform its power division operation at 2.5 gigahertz but since it is uh, not uh, ideally we may not obtain the same value hence if the power uh, splitting operation or the power division operation is obtained at plus or minus 0.1 gigahertz also we are going to obtain that value either we may obtain the minus 3 db difference at 2.4 gigahertz or 2.5 or otherwise the 2.6 gigahertz plus 0.5 means 2.6 gigahertz plus minus 0.1 gigahertz means it is 2.4 gigahertz so we may obtain the any um, or a minus 3 db difference value among these three frequencies now if i subtract this here i'll obtain minus 4.5 db as a difference here if i take a difference of these two minus 2 db as a difference and the difference of these three to 3 db as a difference so i am going to say that the power is splitting at minus 3 db hence the system is performing the power division operation similarly if i take a p3 column either i may obtain somewhere here minus 3 db and we can say the power division operation is done this is how the power splitting or the power division is done using the micro strip 3 db power divider so we have another part here to measure the aim of the experiment is to measure the power division and isolation characteristic power division measurement is done so it is um, we have already proved that the power division minus 3 db difference we obtained hence the power division operation or power division is done using this micro strip power divider so we have another part to be proved it is isolation so we should see or we should measure the isolation characteristic of this power divider so what is means isolation means it is alone right so if a power if a difference is minus 3 db means the power is reduced to half of its value if a difference is minus 6 db means again power is reduced to one fourth of the value and if a difference is minus 9 db means again if a db value keep on increases the power keep on will be very minimized and if a difference is very much high then it is assumed that the power is in terms of 0 0.000 watt or it is very negligible value and we will not consider these kind of value and it is um, assumed as uh, and it is assumed as a zero power hence we will say the isolate so here we have to prove that the port 2 and port 3 in a power divider are isolated to each other they are not in connection so if they are not in connection means whatever the power if i am transmitting from p2 port should not be 
obtained at the P3 port. So in order to measure the isolation you know, characteristic of a power divider, what I am using, I will nullify the P1 port and I make use of the P2 port as an input and I will use the P3 port as an output and uh, I will pass the power from P2 port to P3 port and if a difference between these two port is more than 6 dB or if a difference is high, if I, when, when I take the P3 minus P1, then I will consider that the power is reduced, uh, split into very minimum and that minimum power is negligible. And we can say that these two ports are isolated to each other, they are not connected to each other. We will see how the connection can be done. Now, I am going to terminate the P1 port. So my goal is to prove that the P2 port and P3 port are isolated to each other. They are not in connection. They are not in connection means zero power should be transmitted between these two. Means no power should be transmitted. I am going to use P2 as an input port and P3 as an output port. Obviously, if this is output port, detector is connected to this part. Now. You can, since we need an input power to P2 port, what I am doing is, I will just copy the same P1 column values to this P2 because I am using now P2 as an input port. Hence, uh, 2.2, same means 31 dB and again uh, 2.3, the same first column means minus 30 dB. I will vary the frequency knob and set this to 2.2 gigahertz. I'm now I am going to measure the VSWR meter. It is showing 40 and then 4 minutes minus 44 dB. Now at 2.3 gigahertz. It is showing the range is in 30. Right. 30 this is minus 35 dB and at 2.4 it is showing minus 30